Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, regenerating, renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the longevity products, the longevity business, our Truth Skin Health products, formulations, ingredients. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Those are my websites. We've got blog posts and news stories up. We also have all the longevity products, or Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Ultimate Niacin, Ultimate Selenium, Ultimate Nightly Essence, all the fine longevity products that you hear advertised on the Bright Side are up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites. If you want to make a little money, start your own business. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're entrepreneurially minded, for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a nutrition business. If nutritional supplementation has helped you or your loved ones, and you want to help spread the word and make money at the same time, for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business. Sign up right off our website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop. You can also purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, all made with generous amounts of fat-soluble premium vitamin C, the good stuff, not the cheap stuff, but the good, the expensive stuff. My vitamin C costs, the vitamin C we use in our Truth Skin Health products costs $800 a kilogram. Ascorbic acid, the cheapo stuff, that's going for maybe, I don't know, $2 a kilogram. But I don't like using the ascorbic acid because it's unstable, it doesn't penetrate, unlike our fat-soluble vitamin C, which is primo, and you get a whole bunch of it in our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and of course, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, surfactants, emulsifiers, water, silicon, vegetable oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I want to continue talking about brain health. We've been spending some time talking about excitotoxicity, that is the hyperstimulation and eventual burnout, eventual toxicity of brain cells, eventually the death of brain cells caused mostly by chemicals and processed foods, especially glutamates, also NutraSweet or aspartame, as it is known chemically. 
perhaps even the dairy protein casein, which you will find in a lot of dairy processed foods, all have excitotoxicity properties. Excitotoxins exert the most powerful effects on the very young and the very old. And it's becoming more and more recognized that our epidemic of dementia in this country and around the world is a classic manifestation of the neurodegeneration, that is the brain rot, that's what I call neurodegeneration, that's associated with excitotoxins. According to a 2009 article that was published in the journal Acta Pharmacologica Sinica, quote, a pivotal role for excitotoxicity in neurodegenerative diseases is, incre is gaining increasingly more acceptance. And, quote, understanding the pathways involved in excitotoxicity is of critical importance for the future clinical treatment of many neurodegenerative diseases, unquote. Authors of the article go on to say, quote, a growing body of evidence suggests that perturbations in systems employing the excitatory amino acid L-glutamate may underlie the pathogenic mechanisms of chronic neurodegeneration in Alzheimer's disease, unquote. That means that more and more we're recognizing that MSG or glutamates, that is, are linked to neurodegenerative issues, especially Alzheimer's disease. These days there's not a person over the age of 60 or 65 who doesn't at least occasionally contemplate brain health, cognitive health. Alzheimer's and other dementias are becoming more and more common. According to the World Health Organization, there's now an estimated 24 million people who are living with some form of dementia, the most common one being Alzheimer's dementia. According to the website Dementia.net, that number could jump to 84 million people around the world by the year 2040. As of 2015, nearly 5 million Americans suffer from Alzheimer's disease. It's the sixth or seventh leading cause of death in the United States, depending on whose statistics you believe. About 13% of Americans over the age of 65 have Alzheimer's, and half, half of Americans, or half of uh, uh, these Alzheimer's patients will develop, by age 85, will develop dementia. That is, half of Americans over the age of 85 will develop dementia. Half of Americans, 50% of Americans over the age of 85 are going to develop dementia. And it's getting worse. It's estimated that within five years, the number of Americans with Alzheimer's will jump to 7.7 .7 million. By 2050, that's going to double. It costs big bucks. The combined direct uh, uh, cost of dementia are somewhere around $35 billion a year. $35 billion a year. What can we do with that $35 billion? That number is supposed to go up to $290 billion by the year 2040. This is big bucks, folks. And while most of us, especially if we're living with the disease as, as patients or even worse, as caregivers, it's, if you don't know what it's like to be a caregiver for an Alzheimer's patient, it is unspeakably tragic. It's just this awful, awful, awful thing to have to deal with, to watch your loved one just disappearing, basically. At least one group finds this uh, exciting news, and that's the drug companies. According to the business group, or according to the consulting group Roots Analysis, quote, Alzheimer's treatment is a high-risk, high-reward market. Drugs currently available in the market have reached maturity. Patents of leading drugs have either expired or are close to expiring. The current unmet needs represent a huge opportunity for pharmaceutical companies, which are developing targeted novel therapies. If, if successful, they will be in a position to command premium prices and tap the existing opportunity, unquote. This is how the drug companies think, folks. They see our misery as their opportunities. One man's misery is another, another man's opportunity. Our suffering is big business. Our suffering is high reward for drug companies. Now, it would be one thing if, they're, if they're, uh, their product did something to get us better, but it doesn't. Drugs don't get anybody better. There's nothing a drug can do for Alzheimer's disease. Despite all of this industry excitement and glee, drug companies falling all over themselves to try to come up with medications that will supposedly cure Alzheimer's disease, this is never going to happen. Drugs will never cure Alzheimer's disease any more than we can cure the rotting of a plant that's growing in toxic and nutrient depleted soil. You cannot cure degenerative diseases. Drugs do not cure degenerative diseases. Yet they could be very well be a cause of degenerative diseases, or they're certainly, they certainly make matters worse. And we've talked about this in the past, simply via nutrient depletion. 
All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Shout out to KDIZ Wellness Radio 1570. Thanks for listening, folks. Thanks for being part of the bright side team. Our number today, by the way, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben, and you're listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or, or benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products off brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking Alzheimer's disease and brain health issues and neurodegeneration, brain degeneration. Drug companies are on the lookout for drugs for dealing with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. That's never going to happen, folks. Degeneration cannot be cured because degeneration is not an illness. Degeneration is just the logical result of too much bad stuff getting in and not enough good stuff getting in. That's really all it is. Chronic degenerative diseases are the end result, the logical end result of the wrong stuff getting into the body and the right stuff not getting in. Too much bad stuff, not enough good. Bad stuff mostly coming in through food, unless you're smoking cigarettes or drinking a lot of alcohol or or doing um, a a lot of drugs or injecting drugs. The vast majority of toxicity that enters into the body, vast, vast majority of toxicity that enters into the body comes in through food. Combine that with nutritional deficiencies and you have a recipe for disaster, you have a recipe for health disaster, which we are witnessing. Too much toxicity, including sugar, not enough nutrition, and that includes oxygen. And this quite logically leads to breakdown, as you would expect from any other machine. If you don't put oil and gas in your car and you try to run it, it's gonna break down. If you put sugar in the tank, it's gonna break down faster. At the end of the day, Alzheimer's and other dementias are really nothing more than the end result of the deterioration of brain cells and there's no drug in the world that can prevent or reverse that condition, period. Dementias are degenerative health issues and degeneration cannot be addressed pharmacologically. But that doesn't matter, folks, because we can do it ourselves. There are so many powerful nutrients that are important for the brain that are deficient in the standard American diet and the standard American lifestyle. Just one, vitamin E. It's an incredibly powerful brain nutrient, almost impossible to get enough vitamin E from food, cheapo to get as a supplement. 400 international units of vitamin E a day can be one of the most powerful strategies you ever use. Taking 400 IU a day of vitamin E in all of its forms can be one of the most powerful strategies you ever use for protecting your brain. Using nutrients that support sugar metabolism. Alzheimer's disease is called type 3 diabetes for good reason, because it involves the same kind of breakdowns that occur in other cells when we have too much sugar floating around in the blood or too much insulin. Use chromium, use vanadium, use the B-complex, thiamine, niacin. These are all wonderful strategies for helping lower blood sugar as well as protecting your brain. The human brain, three pounds or so of mostly fat, is the most intricate and highly structured system in the living universe, in the entire universe. It's constantly dynamic and whirring and buzzing and electrical energy is flowing through this thing. Scientists call it wetware. That's the latest term for biological computers. Our body, our entire body is a biological computer, but it's headquartered in the brain. And this wetware is the source from a physical perspective anyway, of everything we know and everything we are. And to perform all of its amazing biochemistry, which we take for granted, it has to use up the vast majority of the body's resources. 25% of the body's resources, one quarter of the body's energy resources are going to the brain. That means it's very, very dependent on the blood. It's very dependent on the circulatory system. And if the blood is toxic or the blood is sluggish, 
if the blood is clotted with immune factors and toxicity that's entering in through the digestive system or sugar, or if the blood is lacking oxygen, the brain is going to suffer more than any other organ. And this is what accounts for the tremendous increase in brain health issues, especially dementias and Parkinson's disease, which is becoming tragically common in this country and around the world. 44 million people have dementia. That is a lot of people, or over 40 million. Nobody knows the exact number. That is a lot of people. Now, there's different kinds of dementias. When we hear dementia, most of us think of Alzheimer's disease, but properly speaking, Alzheimer's disease is early onset dementia. Not all dementias are Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is uh, officially, an Alzheimer's diagnosis is, uh, occurs if you have dementia in your 40s or 50s. Most people are going to have some form of dementia as they get older, but it's not Alzheimer's disease. Another uh, dementia diagnosis is called VCI, or vascular cognitive impairment. And uh, like all dementias, it's becoming more and more common. According to the journal Clinical Interventions in Aging, vascular dementia or vascular uh, uh, cognitive impairment, they're both kind of synonyms. According to uh, clinical interventions in aging, it is a, quote, common condition, unquote, that will affect one out of four or one to four out of 100 individuals over the age of 65. So while Alzheimer's disease or statistics are exploding, that doesn't include other dementias. From a practical sense, from a practical perspective, whether you call your cognitive impairment Alzheimer's or you call it Lewy body dementia or you call it Alzheimer's disease, it doesn't matter. There is only one cause of all dementias. Brain cells are dying, period. And they're dying for the same reason that joint cells die when you have arthritis, or the same reason, reason that liver cells die when you have NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It's no coincidence that all of these things are, all this, the numbers on all of these things are going through the roof. It's because our bodies are falling apart. The human body is not meant to fall apart because it's a regenerating system. The good news is, is the body's meant to regenerate. That means all we gotta do is figure out what is getting in that shouldn't be, and what's not getting in that should, and the body will do the rest. Alzheimer's disease is arthritis of the brain. Dementias are Alzheimer's of the brain, or liver disease of the brain, or osteoporosis of the brain, or eczema of the brain. It's the same disease in different places. This is so powerful. This is such important information if you're dealing with a long-term chronic degenerative disease. You don't need a special protocol for Alzheimer's. You don't need a special protocol for eczema. You don't need a special protocol for any diseases. You just do the same thing. It's no, it's no accident that every time we get calls in this program, I say the same thing over and over again. You focus on your digestive system first and foremost. The digestive system is the most likely suspect when it comes to all chronic long-term degenerative illnesses. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that by adjusting or by controlling or by working on digestive health, your degenerative diseases will go away, but they will always improve, always. Then you work on your blood sugar system, which in a way is a type of digestive issue because our blood sugar gets whacked out mostly from food. Also stress hormone. In fact, those are the only two reasons why your blood sugar will get whacked up, whacked out. If you have diabetes, you know, you're not alone. 100 million Americans have diabetes or pre-diabetes. And that's the third leading cause of death. And if you factor in its relationship to heart disease and, and, um, and uh, cancer, the two leading causes of death, diabetes is the number one leading cause of death. And it is a digestive health issue. And then you calm the body down. Make sure you're doing your deep breathing techniques. Use muscle relaxation, hot water. Between calming the body down, working on the blood sugar system, stabilizing digestive health, there's no chronic degenerative disease on planet Earth that will not get better without your doctor. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after the deep. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have any questions about anything we're speaking about here today, questions about the longevity products, longevity business, if you have comment, comments or success stories, we love hearing success stories, 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products, if you've used our Truth Skin Health products and have comments or if you have questions about our ingredients, formulations, 
If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. A couple of interesting stories, and then we'll get to your phone calls. This is from uh, Lancet Neurology. Green tea catechins, those are the active ingredients in green tea, improve cognitive function in Down syndrome. 84 Spanish adults with Down syndrome were randomly assigned to receive either placebo or green tea. Individuals with Down syndrome and uh, the patients who had Down syndrome uh, ended up with uh, improved cognitive function more improvement in cognitive function than the placebo patients. And that's from the journal Lancet Neurology. More green tea. Green tea may help prevent Alzheimer's disease. A study, this is published on WebMD, a study showed green tea may slow the growth of cancer cells as well. How do you like that? Regular consumption of green tea may offer protection against Alzheimer's disease and other dementias and may also slow the growth of cancer cells, new research indicates. More on green tea and Alzheimer's disease. This is from, uh, this is from here, I can't find where this is from, I'll get to this in a second. Studies show that green tea can prevent Alzheimer's disease by protecting the brain uh, from, the, uh, from the formation of beta amyloid plaques. This is from Alzheimer's.net, which is a uh, Alzheimer's, uh, Alzheimer's patient site. A new study published in the journal Psychopharmacology found that green tea can actually help improve cognitive function and may be useful in treating patients who have Alzheimer's or dementia. We'll be talking more about green tea and one of green tea's really interesting active ingredients called theanine, which is not just important for improving cognitive health if you're dealing with dementia, but also has wonderful relaxing effects, which I find very interesting because green tea is so delicious and it actually has a bit of caffeine in there. So in addition to being relaxing, it also has some stimulating properties as well. From the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, MSG, monosodium glutamate, is linked to obesity. So it's not just, it is not just uh, uh, neurodegenerative. It doesn't just rot your brain cells. MSG has also been linked to obesity. Researchers at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill and in China studied more than 750 Chinese men and women between the ages of 40 and 59. About 82% of the participants used MSG in their food. As it turns out, the prevalence of overweight patients, overweight uh, participants in the study was significantly higher in MSG users than non-users. A lot of that has to do with the fact that you keep eating. MSG is, I can't, is the I can't just eat, I can't eat just one potato chip chemical. Your brain goes crazy for MSG. Glutamate being an excito, uh, excitatory neurotransmitter, excitatory chemical, an excitement-inducing chemical, as we said yesterday, excitement-inducing chemicals, excitatory chemicals make you keep doing the same behavior as opposed to inhibitory chemicals, which make you stop doing a behavior. And the balance of do a behavior and stop doing a behavior is very important in the brain. The balance of excitatory chemicals to inhibitory chemicals is kept tightly regulated and when we ingest excitatory chemicals from the outside via our food, we are playing with fire, thus the problems associated with excitotoxins like MSG, like aspartame, NutraSweet, and like casein, a protein that's found in dairy uh, processed foods, uh, dairy type processed foods. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Judy in Arizona. Let's see if we get Judy here. Good morning, Judy. How you doing? Hi, uh, I'm doing fine, Dan. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, I do have some issues that I really hope you can help me with. Um, I've been on steroid eye drops for 11 months now. Uh, started when I had cataract surgery last July. And uh, two days after the cataract surgery, I went blind. And they said oh my I goodness. had a staph Yeah, please scary. Uh, that I had a staph infection in my eye. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, that's not good. Uh, but anyway, they put me on steroid, uh, forte every hour on the hour. And uh, they tried to work me off of it. And um, uh, no sooner did I, would I get down to where I could get off of it, then the uh, debris would come back in my eye, black debris. So they did that more than once. And finally, they said, well, they tested the fluid and said, it's, it's not 
staff now. It could be pee acne. So we need to go in and, and take the lens out, oh ventilation out, and the vitreous gel out. Well, we settled on the vitreous gel. So that was in February. Back on the uh, red forte again. Um, I just was starting to see a glimmer of hope this past week. I was down to um, drop a day, then I drop every other day, and then I went six days without any steroid in my eye, and it came back the seventh oh day. My now God. I got the debris back in my eye. So, you know, they don't know what to do. No, they don't. But here's the deal. No. Nobody's going to know. You got to, you have, this is a job for taking absolute pristine care of your body at this point. You're not going to be able to target the eye, okay, except for topically, and that's not doing you any good. You have to target no. the body. You have to have zero tolerance for anything that suppresses the healing response in the body. You understand what I'm saying? Anything. Yeah, I we do. All have, have, I, we all have to be careful. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Can I add one more thing to this yeah. before you tell me? I also yeah. have a lump in my breast now. Okay. And I had um, I had a hemorrhage. My eye bled both times. Oh That's man, I'm so sorry, Judy. Eyes. Listen, Judy, those you don't the have three to things I'm facing. No, those are huge, and this is not something to mess around with. I'm sure you understand this. You have to get right. to the bottom of this right away. You have to uh, immediately get on a supplement program immediately okay. today. Don't waste any time if you're not on one already. Get on the Healthy Star Pack to start, all right? It will be ex extremely vigilant about your digestive health, extremely. I'd be fasting. Uh, everything we talk about here in the program, but you don't have any time to waste. You've got to do this today. Uh, uh, stop eating for a couple of days and do the elimination diet where you notice problem foods, where you r r write down everything you eat and then notice problem foods and then eliminate those foods. These are not cures for your illness. These are ways of giving your body the, the strength and the wherewithal to take care of the problem. You follow me? Your body's breaking yeah. down at a very good clip now. So we've got to build this thing back up. Eliminating problem foods, food diary, fasting first, very important. Make sure you're getting enough quality protein. If you can do whey, that would be great. If you can't do whey, uh, egg I protein, can. if you can. Yes? Yes. Yes, make sure you get on a whey protein supplement, either our Keto FX or Slender FX. Or there, there are a lot of whey protein supplements. Keep your calories down to a minimum. The more your body, the more resources your body spends on digesting food, the less it's going to have to, uh, to uh, deal with your health challenges. You understand? You want those resources right. being directed to healing, not to digesting. So the less you eat, okay. the better off you're going to be. The ketogenic diet might be helpful for you, although I would stick with more. There's not enough protein in the ketogenic diet. So just go low calorie high protein. Uh, listen, Judy, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on here, and I've got a call. I've got a, a guest coming on, I think, on the next in our next segment. So would you shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and yes. let me call you, and I'll, I'll work with you personally, okay? Okay, that's ben at ksoc. K -S -C -O, ksco dot com. Thanks okay, so much, guys. Judy. God bless you. I hope I hear from you soon. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Looking for... All right. We're back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pharmacist Ben. And please welcome to The Bright Side, Jeffrey Cole, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Pure Hemp Botanicals. The, uh, we, have our, we have their products on our website, brightsidehealth.com. Some of you guys have already used the product. Welcome to The Bright Side. Jeff, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, thank you for your wonderful product. We talked to Ed Learberger uh, uh, last, or a couple of days ago, three or four days ago. It's Hemp History yeah. Month, huh? It is. It is. So I would definitely like to say Happy Hemp History Month to everybody. It's actually Hemp History Week. I'd like to. I'd like hemp to History Week. That, right. Right. Hemp History yeah. Week. How did you get involved with hemp? Uh, you know, I have a very long-standing uh, relationship with uh, sustainability overall, and the hemp plant is by far the most sustainable crop uh, on the planet. So I've always had an interest in it. My background is really in major media. I've worked with magazines and newspapers like National Geographic and Audubon and Sierra and magazines like that, and I've also published alternative news weekly newspapers like The Village Voice, the LA Weekly, the Boulder Weekly, and others. So I've sort of always been involved in sustainability and with you know cause-related uh, you know marketing uh, projects. Mm. And hemp is just such an amazing you know uh, plant that you can create 
you know, literally, you know, more than 25,000 products out of the hemp plant. So for me, with my background, uh, which touches you know, pretty heavily on brand building, it's, uh, it's like I'm like a kid in a candy store when it right. comes it's to Right. It's a dream come true for a guy like you. There's so many things you can really talk about. It really is. It yeah. really is. It's a marketer's yeah. dream, the hemp plant. It's kind of amazing. What, now, most of, the, most of the benefits that are associated with hemp, traditionally have been associated with hemp, involve the fiber and the, the mechanical constituents. It's only recently that we've gotten into the biochemistry of that, correct? That is correct. That is correct. And what is it about the biochemistry of hemp that makes it so special? Well, what's so special about the biochemistry is that you have cannabinoids and you have a large number and, and an ever-increasing number of cannabinoids are actually being identified. You know, the, the concept of cannabinoids is, is really uh, probably the most researched uh, compound on the planet today. There are 113 compounds that heretofore had not been identified. And now with the proliferation of hemp and the legalization of the uh, cultivation of the agricultural hemp plant, there's all of this research being done on it. The most important part of uh, uh, the sort of the healing properties uh, of the hemp plant are cannabinoids, and they interact with a system that we have in our body called the endocannabinoid system. Most people in America don't even know that they have an endocannabinoid system. So we make our own marijuana, or we make our own cannabinoids, I should say. We do, and in fact, it's very interesting. Uh, I happen to have an 11-month-old daughter, and uh, my wife is actually nursing, and through the breast milk, she's delivering cannabinoids to our baby. Your baby's getting Mother's stoned? Actually what do you say? Yeah. Your baby's getting stoned in there? Is that what that smile is when babies <laughs> suck? When, well, when babies, is he listening to the Grateful Dead or anything like that? Well, you know, we can only hope. <laughs> I just, I, but I'm no. just, pl I'm playing with you there. I, I did, oh, I read no. that. I remember reading that a long time ago, and I, and I thought that 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 happy little smile that babies have when they're when they're nursing might have something to do with the endocannabinoids that they're getting. It, you know, it, it really, it actually does. The endocannabinoid system helps regulate the homeostasis of the body, so it's a, it provides a calming relief to your to your body, and that's. That's why it's so important and so essential to nursing babies. Why do you it helps think calm them down and soothe them? Why do you think that something that's so calming and soothing and healing and healthy? Why is it have? Why is it so taboo? I mean, you know, talking on this radio program now is going to probably tick some, uh, about the endocannabinoid system and about cannabinoids is going to tick some people off. Why is it so taboo? Do you think? Well, I think because it's associated with marijuana. So it's why is marijuana so taboo? Evil. Why is marijuana so taboo? Considering all the health benefits. I think mostly for misinformation and uh, really from decades and decades of misinformation. And um, yeah, I, I really think that's what it primarily is. It's, a mis it's misinformation based on misunderstanding probably. You know, drug companies are getting in on the CBD business too, right? They absolutely are. In fact, many of them are investing millions and millions of dollars. And unfortunately, uh, as it stands, we uh, the the CBD products that uh, are throughout the, the market are are known to be nutritional supplements. As soon as they get classified as drugs, then the the large pharmaceutical companies will come in and co-opt those. Do you Quality think, will go down, and accessibility will also go down. Do you think there's an inevitability to that? I don't I don't really believe that it's inevitable, but I do know that there's a massive push in that direction. I think that because uh, cannabinoids, and, uh, which are really in the form of hemp oil or hemp extracts, I think because they have gotten so, uh, they're so adopted at this point in our culture, that it's going to be very, very difficult to take them out mm. of the hands of the consumers and to be co-opted by pharma pharmaceutical companies. However, there's so much research being done, and the big pharmaceutical companies have you know, massive funds for research and development, that there is a very strong chance that they will be placing patents on combinations of cannabinoids, and that could isolate uh, you know, the market quite a bit in their favor. We hope that doesn't happen, and we're, we're, we're doing our very best, and really the whole market is. When I say the whole market, I mean all of our competitors. Uh, we're, we tend to be very friendly competitors overall because we understand the difference that we're making to people. 
Ben, you know, I'll tell you, I got a call the other day from one of my distributors. He's a new distributor. He's a paraplegic. He was in a car accident when he was very young. He has no use of his legs. And he became a distributor for us because he tried our product, compared it to other products, and couldn't believe the difference. And he took our relieving balm, which has 550 milligrams of full spectrum hemp, and he gave it to one of his friends. Most of his friends these days are also disabled in some way. So his friend has a daughter who has cerebral palsy. She took our relieving balm and rubbed it on her daughter, whose body is just so seized up. The muscles are contracted almost full time. It's a very difficult way to live your life, especially if you're a two-year-old. She took our relieving balm and rubbed it on her daughter and had immediate relief. Her muscles relaxed. This gentleman was in tears when he told me this story. That's these are awesome. stories that I hear. I literally hear these stories every single day. Three days then, ago, I spoke, I spoke with a man named Clay out of Montana. He called me and he said that he'd ordered our product online. He wanted to just tell me his results and he asked me if he could bring our product to market in Montana. And his ailment was that he had a bone disease and it was literally, it was a bone infection and it ate up his bones in his spine and ate up some of the cartilage and his bones naturally fused together and it was extremely painful. Unfortunately, he didn't have good insurance and never has, but he was put on inflammatories, anti-inflammatory medication. He literally told me that for many, many years, when he wakes up in the morning, he has to take his anti-inflammatories. He said he started weaning himself off of anti-inflammatories with our product, and now he's completely off anti-inflammatories. And in the mornings, he sometimes forgets to take our product because he's better. He's been healed. We can't make healing claims because we're not regulated by the FDA and we're not a medicine. And they're sort of a quandary. We have products that have healing aspects and benefits but you can't that we can't refer them. to as medicines. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. But it's making such a huge difference. I mean, now, it's made such a huge difference in his life. This is the salve you're talking about. This is a new product? That's I'm, right. Uh, that's right. Okay. This is the salve. It's the relieving balm. And we, it's, it actually comes in a lemongrass scent or unscented. And it's a fantastic product. It's one of our top sellers. And you're, make, you're making it there in Fort Lupton? We do. We make it here in Fort Lupton. And the only ingredients that we actually have in our tinctures are the cannabinoids, the full-spectrum cannabinoids, and an MCT derived from organic coconuts. And then in our relieving balm and all of our topical products, we have almost exclusively organic ingredients. We use ingredients like beeswax and cocoa butter and shea and you know, uh, calendula flower, St. John's wort, arnica. Nice. Now this, this is all new. I, I, had, I hadn't heard of any of this. Hey, we're out of time, uh, Jeff. Tell, tell our listeners, aside from brightsidehealth.com, you can get our tincture, you can get uh, the pure, pure kind botanical tinctures at brightsidehealth.com. Where can, get, where can they get the salve? They can get the salve on our website at www.purekindbotanicals, or they can buy that at Alfalfa's Market in Boulder, in Louisville, or at Lucky's in North Boulder. That's for our Colorado listeners. Hey, we're out of time, Jeff. Thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. We'll be back at you Monday with more good health information. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 